Good morning guys. My name is Leanne and I'm in the garden again. I want to give you a full garden tour. It is the beginning of July or it's the beginning of August. I think it's August 4th and it's been so rainy and I realized I haven't given a full garden tour and how better fitting than when I actually look like a plant myself. Let's show you over here first. This is my zucchini patch. As you can see, I see one zucchini actually growing on one of the plants from here. It's interesting to see how much smaller this is from the ones that get a lot more sun. Yeah. Yeah, Baba? Another reason I wanted to do a garden tour today is because I learned that my phone camera can switch to 4K resolution. So I wanted to see if it did any better. Look at these, okay? These are my raspberry bushes right here. I got these this year. They were my birthday gift. And I thought, well, I didn't know, the tag didn't say if they were ever bearing or what, but usually the first year you don't get very much from them, but check this out. They are loaded down. Hold on, they got thorns on them. They are loaded with berries. They've actually dropped a few because if I wasn't even paying attention. I think there's like a little bumblebee on this one. Oh, no. See, look at that. They're loaded down with berries now. I have to like tie them up better. They're all like that too. Even my blackberries now putting on buds. See? I think this one's the blackberry. Ooh. Over here in this patch, I sowed some flower seeds. I'm not seeing them come up at all, and it's been kind of a long time. We have gotten a ton of rain, though, so I wonder if they just got washed away. All right, y'all. These are my determinant tomatoes. Do not plant your determinate tomatoes this, or I mean, you put them against the fence, whatever, that should be fine. But don't try to trellis them this way. Did not work. They're still very much laying on the ground, but hey, you know what? Putting on new flowers. I wonder if maybe I was mistaken about the Martinos Roma being a determinant, because they're still going. Unless they just go a lot longer than I thought they would. Over here, we've got a celebrity tomato, Martino's Roma, and a celebrity that are planted too close together. This scraggly one is the celebrity. Over here are leaf footed stink bugs on my celebrity tomato. The worst. The absolute worst. So this leaf-footed stink bugs will sting up the plants. And here is my garden guardian, Charlotte, the spider. I've had a few of these. If you want to be kept in the loop with all my garden adventures, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I upload something new. Okay. This is a violet aster that's like kind of not really doing that great down here. And this tomato plant is a bonus tomato plant from a friend of mine. It looks like it was the Cherokee one, Cherokee purple. Unless those tomatoes are from the other plant because she said it could have been a cherry. Okay, over here, as you can see, I need to tie these up. This is another tomato plant from my friend. Why don't you just lean this way, guy? Okay. Not planting or trellising in this way again. I am, when I put in the rest of these in ground beds down this way, I think I'm going to do a single row all the way down tomatoes and then basil along the sides of it and like flowers and stuff that are shorter than the tomato plants along the sides to take up the space. 
Okay, over here is my bonus pumpkin patch. I had the chicken coop here last year, so the ground is like really fertile. And I gave them a pumpkin and they left some of the seeds behind. So I've got a bunch of bonus pumpkin plants. And so far, oh, there's, there's a one there that's not been fertilized yet or pollinated. But we do have a pumpkin in there starting to turn. That's the only one that I've seen so far in this area. This pumpkin patch is taking over a lot more space than I thought it would. Check it out. See if we can count the pumpkin buds. Little tip about pumpkins, they will sprout roots all along the vine. So don't put a piece of wood down under them like I did. We got one. It's a good sized pumpkin. It's a Cherokee tan pumpkin. I forget the name of the other one. Two. That's the larger one. Three. These are doing very well. They're very healthy. Oh, that one didn't take. Yeah, I don't see any more. So far, so far, the only thing doing very well in the Three Sisters Garden are the pumpkins. Everything else, the corn, the beans, suffering, doesn't look very good. Here is my only zucchini that has survived the squash vine borers in the garden. Check it out. It had a squash vine borer that I cut out of it. And so far I haven't seen any more signs of them. But all the buds keep shriveling up. That one little female flower down there, or female bud, it looks uh, sad. And there's another one. But, okay. Zucchinis and squashes in general have, um, they don't self-pollinate the flowers. They have male and female flowers, so the pollen from the male flower needs to go to the female flower in order for fruit to develop. And so far, I don't think, I think it just hasn't happened with this one yet. You coming outside, Bubba? I'm going to tell you though, this year, my garden has attracted way more bees. And they just kind of sit along everything and take naps. This is one zinnia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All from one seed. Oh, eight, nine. From one seed. As you can see, these leaf footed bugs who really like the tomatoes. I've not been harvesting them because it's been so rainy that they're not going to be very flavorful. So I heard, oh man. 
Okay, these Amish paste tomato plants make really good sized fruits. Um, just not as many as the Martinez Roma. See, this is what happens when you get a lot of rain. The tomatoes split and then they split and they scab like that. These are celebrity, or not celebrity, these are the um, mortgage lifter tomatoes. This one is the biggest one that I've seen in the garden so far. Pretty cool. It's like as big as my face. <sighs> yep. The tomatoes on this end of the bed seem to get this spot or this issue where they get like curled leaves real bad and they start turning like purple or yellow. That's a nutrient deficiency, but off the top of my head, I don't know what it is. See all those cherries over there? I think I'm definitely gonna grow the sun sugars again next year. I like the flavor of them so much. They're, I like them better than the Berry's Crazy Cherry flavor. Though, the Berry's Crazy Cherry puts on more fruit. It is still really good. The indeterminate tomatoes are like just starting to take off. I'm really grateful for this rain because it has been so hot, like 90s to 100 for like a week. I just came through and pruned the tomato plants and it looks like they already need to be done again. See, you wanna prune these suckers off the tomato plants. I don't have clippers with me right now and that definitely needs to be clipped off, but ones like this I will just pull off. Let's see. And just pull that off. That's simple enough, but you want to make sure it's a clean cut. You don't want to be pulling like. A lot of times it happens at the end of the. where there's fruit, so you don't want to cut this whole thing off. You just want to cut where it's trying to grow like another parent plant, basically. So it's just to not rob nutrients from the plant, giving it to the fruit, to ripen the fruit. See, these are the berries, crazy cherry. They make like grape clusters of tomatoes. They're starting to look kind of sick. Leaf curling a little bit, which could just be from the rain because we're getting so much rain. This is a squash bug. Oh man, I missed it. Little beetle that bites my cucumbers. See the leaf curling here. Let's go give this to the chickens really quick. I have been really <laughs> loving having the chicken coop right next to the garden because I could just throw them things. And uh, yeah. So I was saying before, I don't know if it's the loofah. Well, it's just the uh, abundance of flowers in the garden that is helping there be more bees. And it makes me really happy to see like all these buzzing bees working hard in the garden, helping pollinate everything for me. I wanna give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna be posting a video about this probably next week. I wanna give you a sneak peek though. So we are doing something different with the chickens. Not different as in general, like what people do with chickens, but different for us. It is in progress. What is that? Mm -hmm. Make your guesses in the comments. Okay, oddly. I don't know what that is, but there's an arugula behind it. Kale in the dead of the summer. We're running right now. Whenever the over here are little radishes that went to seed. They were supposed to help keep the cucumber beetles away. I had half a mind to plant another round of them, even though it's been so hot lately. Because of cucumber beetles, that's what's doing all this damage here. So they sting the leaves and basically cause it to like 
deteriorate. But the very tops of the plants are healthier, especially on that one. Okay. This is what I am most excited to show you in the garden. Okay, prepare yourself. Take a second, okay? Okay, this. What do you think this may be? Hmm? Is it a cucumber? Does it match the leaves of this? Hmm, that leaf and that leaf. Not quite. Let me show you. This fine. You see how the buds are different? Make your guess, what is it? What do you think it is? That goes with it. And here is the loofah tunnel. I told you. But I thought this loofah plant, if you refer back to the older videos, this bed is where the loofahs are planted. Only two, okay? Goes up, and all the way over here, and it's like reaching, and then over that one, and over the furthest one. Isn't that amazing? I kind of want to tie a string from this arch to this one and see if this vine would go. It's already halfway there. So far though, I've only seen one loofah. Look at the size of this thing. I noticed it. It's starting to feel a little loose. So you're supposed to wait until it's like loose and starting to turn yellow for it to, uh, see these? That's a female loofah bud. So hopefully that'll be a loofah for us in the future. And the flowers, um, look at that happy little, two happy bees. Ah, let's be friends. Oh my gosh, too close to my face. Uh. So it's a loofah flower. This is a male loofah flower. Could end up close to the female flower for you. Right here, a very, or female bud, rather. It's moving too much to focus on it. Bees, they think I'm a flower because I'm so brightly colored right now. Look at this. This is a bee taking a nap on a flower, getting out of the rain, using it as an umbrella. If that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh, so cute. These are the Chinese noodle beans. You know, I'm not a huge fan. I don't think I'm gonna grow these. Oh, still zoomed in. I don't think I'm gonna grow these next year. They're cool to watch grow, but I don't really like them. They don't taste that good. <laughs> They're weird. I think I'd rather this space for more cucumbers. Okay. Over here, daisy gourds, but this one was a daisy, is a daisy gourd or came from the same seeds but it's more like a zucchini, it's like a hybrid. So my sister-in-law saved the seeds and gave them to me. Something's eating my sweet potato um, seeds, sweet potato vine. I don't see any more fruit on it, but the fruit looked more like a zucchini, but the daisy gourds are more like that. They're like decorative gourds. I think I planted them too early. So many bumblebees. These are the melons. They're can, uh, honey rock melons. They're really good. Um, I had two so far. One fell off the vine and I threw it towards the chickens. And then I harvested the one that was over here and we ate it. It was so good. Looks like the vine is overcoming the squash bug damage. Or I don't think it's squash bugs. I think it's a cucumber beetle. That like yellow spotted beetle. Looks like it's starting to put on some new growth. Maybe we'll get some more melons out of it this year. 
and I showed earlier in the video that I have a little bell pepper plant growing. I don't know if that's the California Wonder or if that is a mini bell, but we'll see. And then, so I've discovered sort of which are which. These ones, this is either a mini bell or a California Wonder Bell, and so is the one behind it. This is a banana pepper. That one, I don't know yet. This one, let's see. Yeah, this one doesn't have any fruit yet. It's got flowers, but not fruit yet. And then these are jalapenos. I've got five jalapeno plants. Over here, let's see if we have any fruit set. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, look at this lupa. All the way over here. Ridiculous. Oh look, we do have a little pepper over here. All right, so if I had to guess, I'd guess that this was the mini bell and the other one is the California Wonder. Cool. I cut down the sunflowers as you can see. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. One last look at her. On all her glory. Strawberries did not do that great for me this year, but maybe next year we'll have some better strawberries. Okay. This is my oregano. And then some zinnias and some sage. Everything else in this bed is kind of sad. I need to weed it. Here. I've got a zini, two zinnias, my parsley, some yarrow. I pulled the spinach out. The parsley is actually hanging on through the heat. I'm surprised. I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, but it's all right. The yarrow is going to seed. Don't know what that is. It's a weed. I planted some cosmos and zinnias over here. It looks like the cosmos took off, but not... There's supposed to be a zinnia here and another cosmos there. Over here, I did the same thing and it looks like one cosmo, cosmos, and one zinnia came up. I decided to keep this bed flowers. I'm not gonna grow any more edible things in here because this is where the cat's been pooping. So, I'm not gonna do that. Over here, this was a house plant, but I decided to bring it outside during the summertime. This is a sweet potato. This is the lemon that needs more dirt. This is a rosemary I started from seed. This is the azalea that I bought that is suffering. I need to plant it. This is some basil that's going to seed. Oh man, there it is. That is a cucumber beetle. I don't know if you saw that. Let me see if I can find it again. Where'd you go? And bugs and this is some bonus cilantro that we like cilantro a lot and I want to grow it through the summer but it's so freaking hot that it didn't work the last time I tried to grow it and the dogs are peeing on it so we don't want to eat it <laughs> my front yard garden all right y'all these sunflower stalks are from Sani seeds they have been putting on beautiful flowers but I do not think I'm going to plant them in the front yard again because they have like beautiful flowers on them, but then ones that are like droopy and dying. And I am experimenting, just dropping them there and seeing if they'll reseed. I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of not wanting to plant them here next year. But anyway, I will intentionally plant these ones from MI Gardener in the front because they're short. They're about the same height as these zinnias, which is perfect in my opinion. That all was about the same, same height or sort of. I'm loving the zinnias. The asters are okay. They could be doing poorly because of me. Um, but the yarrow and the mint, I am anticipating kind of taking over. I need to weed this bed again. This yarrow had like an extra little spurt, but the rest of it's going to seed. I just wanted to show the front yard garden too. It's 
all beautiful flowers and I'm loving it. I like that sunflower is just so pretty, so perfect. And this, see that spider? Very well camouflaged. Be mindful before you bring sunflowers into your house. Okay. These two beds have been kind of suffering, so because they're not attached to the irrigation. We've got that centipede grass growing throughout it. So most of this is weeds. What isn't a weed? This flower, this flower, this, this, and this. Everything else is a weed or grass. Over here, walking barefoot through the grass. We have some zinnias that are doing pretty well since it's been raining so much. One aster that's doing pretty poorly. Look how pretty that color is. I love that color. That's such a pretty color. I'm finishing my garden tour, my love. And centipede grass. Oh well. And look, this is one of the very first things I've ever grown. Variety unknown. I got a pickle out of today's harvest. I need to go get a bowl and harvest these raspberries for breakfast. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me for this garden tour video. I hope you enjoyed it. Even though some things are dead, some things are stung up by bugs, and some things are split, it's still really pretty. <laughs> Thank you again for watching, guys. And if you need a friend to learn how to garden with, I'm your girl. Happy gardening.